Hey guys, Adam Chow here, Place Real Estate Team, Oakwin Realty. It's the beginning of April and I'm sure, hey, you're used to this by now. So I'm here with your March 2022 market update. So for last month, we saw 4,344 sales for the whole month in the entire Metro Vancouver area. What's interesting about that, it's, it's about 23.9% down from the same month last year when we look at a year upon year trend. Now, given that 2021 was such an active year for the real estate market as a whole, there's no surprise that eventually these numbers do have to come down at least somewhat. What's interesting, with the decline in the number of sales, we've seen an increase in the number of inventory. So we're seeing about 6,673 6, new listings last month, which is up about 22% from February. Now, what we're seeing in the marketplace, and I don't have data on this yet, as we know data is usually lagging, especially with the data that we get from the real estate board, is it feels to me like the buy, with the buyers that we're working with, that there seems to be a bit more choice than there was maybe three, four, five, six weeks ago. Over the last few weeks, we've seen more inventory come online. So the buyers that are out there have more choice in the marketplace. And obviously when they have more choice in the marketplace, it tends to temper at least prices and the number of offers that we're receiving on our listings as well. It's been two things externally, external factors that have changed. One is the inventory levels have increased, like I mentioned, and we're potentially gonna see more of this with the spring market as it advances. The second thing that's important to note is interest rate hikes. Now we know given the amount of money that we've, we've printed as a country and globally, interest rates have to rise at some point and the Bank of Canada is doing a very delicate job of starting to raise these rates now as the uh, the market is cooling, almost cooling itself. So we saw interest rates last week from the big five, uh, north of 4% for a five-year fixed mortgage. And the Bank of Canada is also meeting on the 13th of April uh, to potentially and probably raise rates again. It's pretty much uh, guaranteed that it'll be at least a 25-point basis hike. But I did speak to one established broker the other week who mentioned that there could be uh, a double hike, well, double hike, a 50 point basis hike uh, in that meeting. So we'll remain to see what happens there. So overall sense of the market is buyers have more choice, seems to be cooling off a little bit. Uh, and when we say cooling off in Vancouver, that means going from craziness to a little less crazy is how I'd probably describe it. As always, everything's very dependent on the area that you're in and the property type, whether you're out in the suburbs or you're downtown, a house versus a condo. So feel free to reach out if you want your update. I send a lot of these out every month, individual updates to particular areas and particular property types. It's never a waste of time. I'm always happy to help. You can reply to this email or shoot me a text. The new office number 604-800-8710. That's 604-800-8710. Have a great day, guys. We'll chat to you soon.